Hello and welcome to another episode of Beacon Win Science. As we know, in today's era, the AI tools are used in every field and people are using it extensively to make their work more uh, effective, more uh, attractive and more simple. And we know that this era is more and more advancing towards the AI tools. Now, if we talk about the research and science, how we can use these AI tools for making our life easy. And for researchers, it is always difficult to make uh, things like, for example, graphical abstract, to make these graphical abstract look interesting, amazing, and in less time. So I just tried to find out the information and I got a tool which will help the research scholars and scientists to make a graphical abstract in much more simpler way, in more attractive, it will make the graphical abstract more look more attractive and in no time. So this tool will help you a lot. One more amazing thing about this tool is that you don't have to create an image or a sketch or anything. You just have to type what kind of an image, what is the prompt, or you just have to write the prompt about your graphical abstract and it will generate it automatically. You don't have to do anything. Just write what you want and that's it. It will generate it for you. And the best part, it is free. So you can use the maximum out of it. So see this video till the end. I'll meet you in the end. Now in this era, we are using the AI tools and with the help of these AI tools, now we this work of making the graphical abstract become very easy. And I'll show you this is very, very easy to make a graphical abstract now by using the AI tools. So we will try to find out this in this video. I'll show you how we can do that. What you have to do is to open this website, which is known as Deep Dream Generator. So once you open this website, deep dream, uh, deepdreamgenerator.com, I'll ping this uh, link of the uh, of this website in my uh, comment so you can check in the comment box. Now, how you can make the graphical abstract by using this uh, deep dream generator. Before that, I'll show you one of the uh, graphical abstract I have just now designed uh, to show you how it works. So this is the image which I have made by using this uh, this uh, deep dream generator so this image i have generated by using this ai tool so how we can generate it i'll show you one by one so as we can see it here in the deep dream generator uh, website there it is written generate so you just simply have to click the generate now the best thing about this uh, tool is that you don't have to uh, draw a image by yourself you just have to give the instruction what you have to do you just have to write what the thing you want in your graphical abstract that's it and this ai tool will generate all the uh, all the abstract for you so what i'll uh, you know, ask from this uh, ai tool is to draw a nano uh, nanoparticle for example i just write nanoparticle so Now, then go to generate. It will generate within a seconds, it will generate an image of nanoparticle. And now, if I like that image, I'll go with it, or if I don't like, I'll regenerate it. So, you can see it here done. So, you can see it has generated two different images of nanoparticle. If I like these two images, then it is good, or else I can go to regenerate it. If I click on the regenerate, it will regenerate new image. But I think I like this second image. So, and this first image is also very good, but I think I'll regenerate it. So again, I'll click on the regenerate and let's see what it will give us. Again, go to generate. Yes, this looks very nice. Or else I can again uh, go for regenerate image or anything like that. Suppose I like this image and I have to take this image out. So just have to click on the uh, right of the mouse and then go to copy image or else I can save it also. So uh, for uh, showing purpose, I am just copying this image and go to my uh, PowerPoint and then I'll paste it over here. 
just simply control V. I have pasted over here and I want, don't want to uh, show this background. So I just have to double click on this picture and you can see it here, the remove background came. Just need to cl click on it. And if suppose any portion I want to keep it, so I'll uh, go to mark area to keep. Suppose this area is, I want to keep, I'll keep it everything and whatever this area is also, I wanted to keep. Like that you can do it. I'm just showing you roughly how you can do it. You can do it much better way. Also, I'll crop this image so that it would be easy for me. That's it. Now, if I have generated this uh, nanoparticle image, and now I wanted to uh, show that this nanoparticle is getting internalized into the cancer cell. So again, I have to go to this deep dream generator and I'll write the cancer cell. Cancer cell image or anything like that. Now just generate it. So suppose this one, uh, it is good for me for showing purpose, it is good for me. So I'll just copy image and then again paste it over here. Okay, just this is for showing purpose. Like I wanted to uh, remove the background again or else what I can do uh, just, yeah, this is not a good background. So I'll remove it from my image, from my image. And then again, mark the area, whatever I wanted to keep it. These things I wanted to keep, area, yeah. Now this one, this looks very nice. I'm, I'm okay with this image. You can make this nanoparticle a little small so that it would look like uh, this nanoparticle is smaller compared to the cell, okay. Now, if you want to give some background color, you can just simply go to the format background, write it here, format background, here, and then you can select it format background. In color, you go to color, and I just wanted to give the black color, so it will become black. Let's look more um, like I like the black color in the background. Whatever the color you wanted to give, you can give it. And now if you wanted to show that this nanoparticle is going inside it, you can take a help of these any shape and any tool. So I would take this like that. You can show it. This is your call. Well, the way you wanted to show it, you can show it. So like that, I'll give some color to it also. Uh, for example, a gray color. It should be, uh, or oh, I would give the yellow color, it would be better. Okay, it would be more highlighted. Now you can write it here that it is a nanoparticle. If you uh, wanted to convey it more uh, properly, then you just write it what you have here. You can write it here, cancer cell. You can write it here, nanoparticle, like that. Okay, this looks so vibrant. You can see it here, how beautiful it is looking now. See. This is what we can generate by the using of AI tool and within a five minutes or two, five minutes roughly, I guess, uh, we have generated this image. You can save this image. You know how to do that. It's very easy. Just go where, save as, uh, go to where you wanted to save it. Just, I'll save it in the download section. Okay. Downloads. And then you just have to change the power from here. It is PowerPoint presentation. You just change it into images for format. That is JPEG format. And just write it test AI. Test. Just write it. What's the name? Test AI. I'll write. See. Now I'll show you how it is looking like. You can see this image. How beautiful it is. Yes. You can see it. So in this way, you can generate whatever the image you want to generate for your graphical abstract, scientific graphical abstract or anything. If you are writing a book, if you are writing any, any other article or something, you can generate the images by this tool. And this is also a copyright free because when you are generating it, you are putting your own elements into it. So in this way, it will be, it will be ethical also. So by this method, you can generate beautiful uh, graphical abstract and in very simple manner. So I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching this video. If, 
If you find this video informative and you want me to make such kind of a videos, just give a thumbs up to this video and also comment me down below what next you want to see in the field of research and science. I'll make the video for you. Till then, stay safe. See you in the next video.